Welcome here to my channel, I'm Simone Bertolotti and in today's video we are going to talk about a topic that is pretty important to people that love taking photos that is about the accessories. In this case I want to bring 5 plus 1 bonus best basic accessories that you're going to need probably in your gear. One important thing that I want to say before starting is that in this video you're going to see some different accessories from some various brands but the real fact is that this video is not sponsored by any of those brands so you're gonna see and listen to my experience with these products because I've been using some of them for almost about three years or more or less and so let's get started with the first one. I've decided to start from something that I would say that is almost essential in using a camera because I would say that almost the 99% of people that use cameras use something, for example, a strap to hold all those cameras and in most of the cases, in my opinion, people just use the shoulder strap that they put around their neck that they can find, for example, in the kit of the camera. But the thing that I want to talk about that is the first product that is in two years, it's not this bag. But the first thing that I want to talk about is, let me find it, okay, so it's this one. The Peak Design Wrist Strap or Cuff, I mean, here's the name of the product. In my opinion, the worst thing of using the shoulder straps that you can find in the kit of the cameras is to attach and after untie them, for example, from the camera. This process takes lots of time and so lots of brands have designed this little thing. For example, these are the Peak Design Uncurlings and you can attach just these little things to the sides of your camera and then you can for example attach a shoulder strap and I have it but I don't want to talk about this but I want to talk about this little thing that you just put you attach to the camera obviously to the anchor links and then you put it for example here around your wrist. First of all you avoid the shoulder strap that you put here on the back of your neck because in my opinion that is too much big for most of the occasions. The second aspect that is by using this thing you're not gonna have something big to hold your camera but you're just gonna use your hand. Let's say the case that you use for example a shoulder strap in that case you are gonna still use your hand to, for example hold your camera just to avoid your camera to shake around while you're working for example and so I mean yeah using the shoulder strap around the neck is good but the one around the wrist in my opinion has this little level up that makes the whole experience of taking photos a bit more free so you have more space to move around and to use your camera in my opinion this is really really nice. And the third positive aspect of this product is the price because even though it's a peak design product the price in this case in my opinion is not that high because you're gonna spend about from 30 to 40 euros or dollars depending on your country. But in my opinion this price is not that high. As I've said I've been using this product now for almost three years I would say and I mean I have never had any particular problem and in my opinion it's a pretty great product to have in your gear. The second product that we are gonna see is something quite different in this case because let's take it out and this one is the PGY Tech Car Reader and Storage Case and this is the real interesting things about this product because it's a true in one starting from the storage side as we open it up we can see that there are literally lots of slots we have four slots for the sd cards we have four micro sd slots you have even two different slots for the sim cards which in my opinion is something that is not necessary for every one of you in fact in my case i've never used it but you know, it's something that is nice to have too. The nice important thing and interesting thing about this product is not the storage part, is that here you have two different slots, one for the SD and one for the microSD. You can after take out this little cable and if you plug this cable into your computer, you will be able to transfer all the data from your cards. And in my opinion, it's the thing that makes it really interesting for all those people who wants to travel and needs to travel for more and more days. And they want to manage and transfer all the data easily and storage all the car easily with only one single product. 
talking about the prices of this product, in this case we have a price between the 40 and 50 euros or dollars but with every single product nowadays you can find some little discounts maybe on Amazon or other websites. The third product is something especially for all those of you who try to spread their creativity for example while taking the photos and so let's take it out and it's a light tube, pretty simple and it's something quite interesting in my opinion because talking about lightning there's lots to say because the light for example a light tube is not only important in videos but even in photos and in my opinion in particular in the sort of more artistic and creativity photos that kind of things. This light cube is something that is quite cheap, it's a really little product and the nice thing about it that you have for example this white and more powerful light and you can even for example change the color which is pretty nice. And as I said before, this product is especially for the people that want to create some particular shots, for example, with a particular subject trying to plan a really particular and artistic photo. And in these cases, having a little light point that you can easily carry around and you can, for example, create some color effects or make the photo more dynamic, in these cases, the little product is in my opinion literally amazing. The thing that you need to remember about this product is that it's a, a really little light point and so it's not that powerful for example to give a light to an entire room. And in my case for example I use it a lot while I'm shooting some videos and one shot that I took a lot about two years ago, I don't remember when, I even made a video about it, but it was this night shot in which I had this light pointing straight into the sky. And to make this shot a bit more dynamic on the light and especially on the color side, I used this little cube just to point it on the ground and create this colored ground which is in my opinion gives that little add that can make for example for a photo from not good to really really good and interesting. Talking about the prices as I said before it's a really cheap product but in this case I don't want to suggest a particular brand if you go on Amazon for example I bought it there and you look for light cubes you will find lots of different brands that make almost the same product so I mean it's up to you, it's up on the price that you find or the number of reviews that you find and yeah in my opinion you can buy for example two of them to create like a particular blue and red light which is maybe nice. Now I want to take a little pause from the video just to tell you that if you're enjoying this video and if you're liking like this product and this format of video I would say I will ask you to please leave a like to support my channel and if you want and if you're interested in similar type of content you can even subscribe that would be literally amazing but now let's not waste any time and let's get back and start I would say with the fourth product and so let's take it out from this little bag and oh this bag is not a product that I'm gonna suggest to buy into this video but I just needed something to put in everything for to record this video and talking about the fourth product we are gonna talk about the SanDisk as extreme SSDs. Why exactly the SSD from SanDisk? And the question is pretty simple, just because, for example, like five years ago, I bought my first SSD with SanDisk. It was of about 500 gigs. Then, after some time, I bought the one terabyte, and then I bought the two terabyte like three weeks ago. And so my experience with this type of product is literally amazing because it's extremely reliable. I really love the way it works because I've never had any particular important issue with all the data. And the two important things with an SSD are the speed and the reliability. And as I've said, with the reliability, I've never had any particular problem. So that's good, that's all. And for the speed, it depends on the product that you're gonna buy, on the exact model that you're gonna buy. I use it always with uh, its official cable, and we are gonna talk about in a moment. And I plug it into, for example, my MacBook, which is a MacBook Air base from 2020. And the speed is literally amazing. I even edit photos, edit videos, everything with it. So 
literally no speed problem and one thing i want to say about the cables which i don't like much is because these cables that they give you with this product are too much short and so if you buy only one ssd you need to be careful or not lose it because if you lose it a USB-C to USB-C cable data cable is gonna cost you quite some money. Talking about the prices, I mean, in this case I cannot give you a precise price just because uh, it depends on the speed of the model that you're gonna take, on the storage and even on the colors sometimes, for example on Amazon. And so, I mean, it's up to you, it's up to what you need and what you need in your particular case. During a travel, probably you will not want to bring in the huge tripod, for example, to take some photos. And in this case, here it comes, the fifth product of this video, which is this little tripod, not in this situation. I have two of them. In fact, I've started using this one with my action camera, the GoPro Hero 6, lots of years ago. And instead this one, I bought it last year, I believe and this one can uh, lift for example my camera so it can take for example three or five kilograms i don't remember i will leave you here the the quantity and so in my opinion the big important thing about this product is that when you don't want to have a big tripod but you still want to place your camera to place your smartphone to take some nice photos maybe to yourself with a nice background during a high for example or even maybe you want to place uh, the camera uh, somewhere to take a video at time lapse, whatever you want. In those cases, this little tripod is really great to have. Talking about the price, I want to go straight to the price. It all depends on the way that this thing is gonna live. So if you have a smartphone, you are gonna take something which is a bit smaller. And instead, if you want to use a camera, you're gonna take something like this one, which is a bit bigger. And another thing that I want to say is about the reliability. In fact, these products are really amazing on this side. In fact, they're really, really reliable. And one thing you need to think about is that after some years of use, you need to be a little bit careful because it can get too much smooth. For example, the arms can get too much smooth. And in that case, you can evaluate to switch to a newer one, which is a bit fresher. The final product that we're gonna talk about is actually not a product. In fact, the bag now is empty. There's nothing more. And the final point, which is a sort of a bonus tip for the video, is that during a travel, during a trip, whatever you're gonna do, in which you're gonna take photo, the real point is to bring as less things as you can. We have seen lots of different accessories to probably improve the way in which you take your photos, but actually the real point is to have the camera, yeah, it can be an external camera, a smartphone, whatever you want, and to not have lots of accessories to choose between, but actually the few things that you need in that specific occasion. And in the meantime, you can focus and try to express more into your photos, which is definitely better. So I would say that that's all for this video. Leave a comment if you, for example, need a sort of, a, if you have a question or something you want to know about one of those products, one of those things that we have seen. And leave a like if you enjoyed that video. As I said before, subscribe. That would be literally amazing. That's the best thing that you can do. And I would say that's all for this one. I will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Have a nice day. Bye.